Hey guys, before I get into the actual topic of this video, I just wanted to show you that uh, one of the Robins that I summoned recently actually just so happened to be plus attack and minus defense. So you can kind of see where the gameplay is leading right now. To be completely honest, surprisingly, my minus attack plus defense Robin was still good enough and still had offensive po potential enough to virtually be a staple in my arena teams with only uh, 36 attack right there with everything. Pretty, pretty insane. But I think I'm ready for a bit of a change. Rest in peace, other Robin. You are literally nothing that this Robin was. And uh, at, at the time of recording, this Robin's already level 40. Uh, I've had this clip for a little while. Not too long, but yeah. New, new Robin is awesome. Along with the merge, he ends up having eight more attack points than the old Robin had. And kind of the shitty thing about male Robin in general is that absolutely every stat is a super bane. And what I mean by that is he gets minus four than the normal three. The only stat that isn't a super bane is his HP. Now, things are looking... Pretty fucking close and tense for um, the voting gauntlet here. Oh, actually, hold on. <laughs> I almost forgot that I also merged my Roy. Uh, I found out what their um, IVs were. One was um, minus attack plus speed, and the other one was plus defense minus resistance. And I was leaning towards plus defense minus resistance. And with the help of you guys in the Discord, uh, link in the description, um, that, that helped tip the scales <laughs> even more in the favor of the plus defense minus resistance. Because his attack is really important. Along with the speed, but I think attack was more important than the speed, if you know what I mean. So... This upcoming Tempest Trials, it's apparently mini weird. I was looking forward to it so that way I can grind some uh, XP and SP a little bit better because I'm virtually out of chain assaults. And uh, the lower Tempest Trials are, is actually a really good opportunity to level and do a little bit of grinding on some of those uh, lower level ones, which is neat. So there's not necessarily no purpose to doing the like, quote-unquote, easier versions of the Tempest Trials. And there's the Threatened Defense banner right down there. Eh, nobody cares about that one. I highly recommend not summoning on that one because you will probably end up like my buddy Skides and get two parries. Yeesh. If you want Ephraim, don't pull on this one because you might get boned. A lot of people have been getting boned in the Discord also. Yeesh. Yeah, yeah, don't do it. Hi, Henry. He comes from Brazmac. He's also in the Discord. Anyway, the actual topic. Actual fucking topic. Is the voting gauntlet. Or, as I'm going to start referring to it as, Hero Clash. Now, when you hear Hero Clash, doesn't that sound... Doesn't it keep your expectations a bit more realistic? Because when it comes to votes, you know, it, it seems, it implies that it's more of a popularity contest. And it's really not the case with the, uh, with the multipliers and stuff. Because uh, the most popular character might not necessarily win. And uh, as a lot of people have mentioned, uh, especially in the Discord, uh, like not only has Lin been boned by the multiplier, but a couple other uh, units have been boned as well, such as uh, Leo, for example. That's the one that I can only remember at the moment. But uh, it's kind of weird, the bonuses this time around with both Ike and Camilla, because they've been okay. virtually dead even. I feel like okay. without 
the multipliers at all, the result would still be the same. I'm, I'm not sure. Because, well, actually, it feels like Camilla's gotten more um, bonuses than Ike. I think Ike only got it once for this final round, maybe twice. I really don't remember. I, I don't pay too much attention. Well, I do pay attention. It's just that my memory's shit sometimes. But the bonuses kind of went back and forth. Okay. And... Eh. You already know how I feel about the multipliers. I don't like them. I understand why they exist. It's to keep it uh, fresh. And so people don't get motivated. Like, oh, hey, you, you know, the, the person I'm supporting is supporting's getting fucking blown out. There's no point in participating, etc. I can understand that. So, yeah, don't get me wrong on that point. I understand why it's in the game, but I can still not like it all the same. <laughs> um, so, another thing, if you're in the Discord, you'd hear me rant about quite often is the fucking adpocalypse, and right here is when um, the voting gauntlet, or hero clash, I want to call it hero clash, is starting to even out and um, kind of naturalize. And I don't think we're going to be seeing any more bonuses beyond this point. Um, but the Adpocalypse is actually hitting me too, and I never thought it would. I, I figured I might sneak un under the rug. Oh, by the way, I, I know I keep interrupting myself, but I need to point out things in the video. Uh, Supreme Toad Lord is number two of, of all the players. Supreme Toad Lord is actually one of the mods in my Discord. And he's, uh, on quite often. This Brave Ike is interesting. Ike! Stay back! I like that quote. Hey, look! Another Hector focus! That, this one actually seems good to roll on. I'm not going to give my blessing because I, I want to roll on Radiant Banner, which seems hinted at. Unfortunately, I didn't get any green orbs, so I'm not going to get the chance to get a Hector. But I will get Swordbreaker Fodder, and that's always nice. It's nice to have a lot of that because then you can kind of experiment a little bit better, not feel so restricted on when and where you use it. But anyway, um... Demonetization. I always thought I might creep under, you know, just creep under the spotlight and not get noticed. You know what I mean? But uh, I think their algorithms are pretty aggressive and just go across all of YouTube with, with no thoughts or feelings or, you know, no remorse over whose lives they destroy. <laughs> Granted, it's not that ridiculous, unless, you know... Uh, someone's livelihood is YouTube, but it's rather annoying that even though I wasn't fucking making that much money in the first place, these shit cunt fuck lords are just kind of walking by and just crushing me underfoot without any thought about it. They seems like they really don't give a shit. Like, granted, I wasn't making much in the first place, but you have to crush my fucking dreams so violently? God damn. I mean, in the broad spectrum of things, I've got my own job, I've got my own things, this is a hobby, but, I mean, if you were doing a hobby, you wouldn't want, I don't know, let's say you play fucking Yu-Gi-Oh and you're in school or something, you're sitting there, you know, looking through your cards, and some guy just walks by, and they're like, oh, hey, uh, all those cards are crap, and then maybe just smack your deck of cards, and then you have to, like, bend over, pick them all up. That's kind of what it feels like. It's not nice. In the broad spectrum of things, it doesn't matter, but it's... You feel insulted all the same. I think you guys know what I'm talking about after that little explanation. I, I think I got close enough to the mark to where you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, so I've been playing a good bit of Arena now, that uh, CYL has been out, and it's yes. definitely, okay. it's definitely changed Understood. the meta in a way we probably all expected. 
and you you see three CYL units on my team, and then another Ike. It's actually not yes. because Ike is my favorite character, but I feel that distant counter is still important enough to include on the team. And until I see like enough Linz or other characters that get past a DC, I probably will keep Ike and not replace him with Roy until Understood. further notice. It's I've got a couple of teams going on, kind of wading into the new meta. And I've been relatively successful. And this Lucina is just god tier on the level of support, especially if you have an all physical team. It's pretty wicked sweet. But yeah, the, the, the meta has changed in a way where the meta breakers has become the meta. And I'm sure we've all expected that. And um, I don't think IS, th this was their intent. Um, because it feels like now, in order to change the meta again, we will need a new set of meta breakers. And that's probably not a good balance in the long run. So we'll just have to see what happens. <laughs> um, this section right here is with, you know, with the five hours left, that is the last section I'm going to be able to get to before I'm recording right now. Um, I'm feeling pretty safe in calling Ike as a winner at this point because this is as close as I'm going to get to recording until I'm not, you know, going to. I'm not going to, like, record later and then upload later. I'm just going to upload it most likely before the Hero Clash ends. Long story short, I'm predicting Ike will win because he has slowly creeped his way up from losing to winning up to that point. And I don't think we're going to see any more multipliers. But there's always that chance I could be wrong. So I want to cover my bases in case I am wildly fucking wrong. So... Another topic I want to touch on real quick is... Granted, I don't think I'm popular. I wouldn't consider upper half of 2,000 subscribers popular <laughs> just yet. But I've been receiving quite a bit of notoriety in the form of uh, network offers in my email. I've gotten actually a lot in the span of, you know, a, a day or two, like a surprising amount in those, those days. And it definitely feels from... Fuck. Yes, shut up, you're right. I literally just went back, played more Fire Emblem so I could record more footage so I could talk even more. <laughs> but, um, okay, so the reason why I don't think uh, Camilla is going to get another multiplier is because she basically needs, what, another uh, 350 billion points losing by in order to activate the bonus. I know it's a substantial amount now that the numbers are even higher, so it seems much less likely, because I think the stronger, weaker things trigger at 10%. And also, is it just me, or... The enemy! On it. Because I'm getting really yes. annoyed every sure. time Lin just shouts, The enemy! The enemy! The enemy! God, Stay close. it's just... Oh, it's nails on a chalkboard at this point. It was mm. neat at first, okay. but the tone of her voice is just... Gah! Please stop saying that. <laughs> sure. The enemy! Oh, God. Sure. The enemy! Yeah, anyway, getting back to the topic, I've been getting okay. a bunch of uh, network offers Fine. from a bunch of whatever. And, uh, like, the little sure. bit of Google research that I've done about these particular topics turns up a crap load of YouTube videos just, uh sharing their extremely abysmal experiences. Uh, for example, OEMG, which is a hilarious uh, channel I like to watch. Hashtag plug. <laughs> um, that told me all I needed to know about just network offers in general. Not necessarily 
which ones in particular, but that I should probably just avoid them in general, regardless of who they are, even if they're reputable. Um, and I uh, also shared my thoughts in the Discord and asked for your guys' opinion in case I was... All right. In, in case my uh, original thoughts were unfounded, except I got something I didn't actually expect. I got a resounding, resounding amount of opinions from you guys in the Discord telling me that, yeah, it's probably a really bad idea because you guys have also seen the same videos and the same forums uh, saying that this network is bad, that network is bad, this network never paid the guy, this one screwed this dude, required them to participate for an entire year and they were, like, not able to just stop making videos. They were contractually obligated to continue making videos and it just seems like more trouble than it's worth. It's like way off in the risk reward uh, spectrum. It's not worth it, it seems. So I'm probably not going to touch any of these um, offers that I get. So that that should also serve as a warning for people who apparently have seen a video or two of mine and would like to offer me one. Chances are I'm going to turn it down because it just seems a very distasteful um project to pursue and i actually do like the thought of being able to step back whenever i feel <laughs> the need to it just generally have freedom long story short it seems like that these things will chew you up and spit you out like a cheap hooker no offense to cheap her hookers that's just how they're treated and i'm gonna end it on that note Beautiful. Have a good day, guys.